welcome back to another video. So today I have kind of like a makeup tutorial get ready with me kind of video for Eid. I just wanted to say happy Eid to all of you that are celebrating and I know I get this question a lot but I'm not Muslim myself. I am um, actually I've explained my religion on uh, on Instagram which is a whole other story but anyways I'm not Muslim but I wanted to support a lot of you that watch my videos are Muslim and do celebrate Eid and I get so many requests to do this video so why not do it and you guys know I love doing Eid looks for you guys I just have so much fun doing it so yeah happy Eid to everyone Eid Mubarak how was my accent if you guys are making the most of it and celebrating well eating lots of food I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look today. So obviously I just showed you the outfit and the whole look and the outfit's from Om Sara. Um, they have amazing outfits. Now they sent me this one. Um, I, would, I just told them send me any outfit and these are pre kind of tailored but you can get them tailored to your sizing but this one is like a M I think it was. A size M and it fits perfectly to be honest. It's a bit small in some areas but it fits nicely actually and the quality is it's so beautiful like this outfit i'm obsessed you can wear this outfit for eid but not only for eid like um indian weddings indian sangeets um mehendis you could also wear this for an indian um hindu you know you can wear this for anything really um i just love the outfit i love the look and i'm just obsessed okay and the jewelry i bought from amazon they have really nice jewelry and this went perfectly with the outfit i hope you guys will enjoy the makeup tutorial part of this video and also i have another one coming up tomorrow but i just wanted to ask you guys if you want to see kind of like a more laid like more natural like more natural simple look and it's more like a pinky gold silvery kind of look so i'm going to put a poll vote if you guys want a dramatic look or soft look let me know guys and before i go i'm going to do my post notification shout out so today's one goes to chanel hayban thank you so much for your sweet comment hun and for sharing the love shall we jump onto it guys i hope you enjoy Alright guys, so we are going to start off with the eyes. I've just put a bit of concealer as my base. Funny enough, I was actually going to like wear, um, use a different eyeshadow, but then this came in the pose today, like just in time for this tutorial. Um, this is the new, the Emily Edit The Once palette, and it has some greens. I wanted to do like a green look. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's got some really nice mattes and this really dark green, which I want to use right here. It's like a dark forest green. So I feel like first I'm going to use a transition shade, which is going to be, I think, Midwest, which is a nice, warm kind of brown shade. I am filming on a different camera today. So do let me know what you think. Um, it's like my vlog camera, but I wanted to see how it would be for just like more laid back tutorials. Um, yeah, just let me know guys, let me know. So I'm going to take that shade Midwest. And I'm just going to pop that right above that crease. I will leave all links in the info box by the way. If you hear weird crunchy sounds is the outfit. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to grab the shade Apartment, which is a dark chocolatey brown shade. And we're just going to pop this on the outer corner. But literally just on that outer corner section. Normally I go more in, but I'm just going to keep it around that outer corner. How many times have I said outer corner? I don't know. I'm definitely happy with the pigmentation of that brown. And you can take your first transition brush shade and just soften out the edges. I'm going to use some of that green. It's called Corduroy. Corduroy. It's this green here. I'm just going to build this up on that side bit. 
try and stay like try and stay on the under the crease and now I'm taking that shade side hustle now and I'm just gonna just build that on the lid but not all the way in the inner corner And I'm using tapping motion so that it blends seamlessly together. That's actually a really pretty shade, but I'm going to take my Primark primer water and just spritz the brush a little bit and then grab more of a shade just to add a little bit of oomph and, you know, make it stick better to the lid. I feel like I've been really uninspired to do like more creative looks and, um, I don't know, once I was sent these outfits, I was just like so inspired to just create this nice greeny, like forest green look, but not too overwhelming, you know? All right, so I'm going to take another flat brush and find one. So the next shade I'm going to be taking is this one right here. It's like a very light green, like a lime green, and it's called Grateful. And again, I'm going to spritz my brush. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So again, I'm just putting this on your inner corner and then just like patting it into that um, <clears throat> side hustle shade that we used last. Now I'm just fixing the edges a little bit more. And here you can take a clean brush and just blend the edges. It really helps to do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this Makeup Revolution multi-liner and I'm gonna use the dark brown shade. Actually, I might go with the black. So I'm just gonna tight line. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna finish the eyes in a bit. Let's go on to skin now. I've already moisturized my skin. I'm just gonna wipe off any fallout. The eyeshadow has a little bit of fallout. Not too much though. And uh, I will write what I've used on my brows in the info box. Um, if you if you guys want to know that for foundation today i'm going to be using my sleek life proof foundation lp11 i blend that out with my beauty blender I don't know if because I've had this foundation for a while now it's oxidized but I swear it used to be lighter than this, I haven't used this one in a while. But it is a good drugstore foundation. I cut myself some bangs by the way guys. I just felt like it suits me, like my face. Then for conceal I'm going to be using my Conceal and Define Conceal and C10.5 by Makeup Revolution. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder to set my under eyes. A I do a bit on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, them small lines. I always do around my mouth, that's why I sweat the most. I'm also going to use my EX1 Pure Crush Mineral Powder in 11 just to set the rest of my face. Then I'm going to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here to bronze. I'm also going to pop a bit of blush on. This is my LA Girl Just Peachy Blush. It's like a beautiful peach colour. I 
Then for highlight, I'm going to be using the Makeup Obsession eyeshadow. I think this is uh, no, this is the highlight in gold actually. It's just so beautiful. I'm just putting a bit of powder here just to kind of like sculpt the um, bronzer. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that for a bit. Now we can go back onto the eyes. Uh, do I have some mascara? Okay. Yeah. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara. This is by Soap and Glory. But this is just, I'm just going to put a few coats of this. For lashes today, I'm going to be using the primer lashes in velvet. This is what they look like. They're super full. Hopefully they suit me. Oh my Jesus. Who wears big lashes like that? I just don't understand. Like, I think I'm going to just go for these ones. These are a bit more up my street. These are in... I don't even know what these are in. Allure. These look so much better. These are actually really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take some of that dark forest green called Corduroy and just really place that underneath here. This palette has a massive mirror, it's so handy. I'm gonna use that light greeny shade and just pop that in the inner corner. The one that we use right in the inner corner. Then we're going to pop some mascara on our lower lashes. There we go. And then for lip, I'm just going to use a warm lip colour. This is the Maybelline Super, Super Stay Matte Ink in Fighter. It's like one of my favourite lip colours. Oh my goodness, I love this look. Look at that highlight. Just gonna let down my hair. All right guys, so this is the full look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I probably won't film with this camera anymore because it does heat up when you can't film for ages. So this is probably be my vlogging camera, but I hope you guys um, enjoyed the whole vibe of this video and let's just roll onto the montage of the outfit and everything. Yeah.